Hello, in today's video I'm going to be talking about arithmetic sequences. The definition of an arithmetic sequence is a sequence that increases by a constant amount each time is called an arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequences are of the form a, a plus d, a plus 2d, a plus 3d, etc, etc whereby a is the first term and d is the common difference. An example of an arithmetic sequence is 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, and so on. Over here we can see that the first term is 5, and we call this a, and the common difference is 2, okay, and we call the common difference d. Now why do we use a plus n minus 1d to describe the nth term of an arithmetic sequence? That is because the first term is a plus 0d, which is simply a, as we can see over here. 0 is 1 less than 1. The second term is a plus 1d and 1 is 1 less than 2. And we can see this over here. For the second term we have a plus d, which is the same as a plus 1d. Now the third term is a plus 2d, and 2 is 1 less than 3. And as we can see over here, we've got a plus 2d, which is the third term. The fourth term is a plus 3d, and 3 is 1 less than 4 and we can see this over here as the fourth term. Following the logic that I just explained, it's clear that the nth term has to be a plus n minus 1 times d. That is because n minus 1 is 1 less than n. Okay, now let's use the expression a plus n minus 1 d in practice. We have the sequence 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, just like in the first example. And the first term is 5 and the common difference is 2. How are we going to get the fourth term? Well, we have a, we have d, and we convert n into 4. If we do this, we get 5 plus 4 minus 1 multiplied by 2. And this is the same as 5 plus 3 times 2, which is 5 plus 6, which is 11. And we can confirm this over here. Is the fourth term 11? 1, 2, 3, 4. It is. So this is one way to use this expression. Now is there another way to use the expression a plus n minus 1 times d? Well, we can have the same sequence, and what we can do is find out which term is the number 15. We know that a is 5 and d is equal to 2. So let's get this expression over here, set it to 15, and then change a to 5 and d to 2. If we do this, we get this equation over here. By subtracting 5 from both sides of this equation, we get n minus 1 times 2 is equal to 10. If we divide both sides of this equation by 2, we get n minus 1 is equal to 5. And by simply adding 1 to both sides of this equation, we isolate n, and n is equal to 6. So we know that 15 is going to be the term 6. And let's confirm this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Indeed, 15 is the sixth term. Now, how about finding the common difference? We have the same sequence, and a is equal to 5, and the seventh term is 17. Well, we get this expression, turn it into 17, and change a into 5 and n into 7. So we get this equation over here. This is the same as 5 plus 6d is equal to 17. If we subtract 5 from both sides of the equation, 
we get 60 is equal to 12. Now if we divide both sides of this equation by 6, we get D is equal to 2, which is the common difference. And this is how you use this expression over here to get the common difference. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you want more maths videos, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as I'll be adding more tips. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.